other businesses can say they cater to wet noses, furry paws, and wagging tails. Seven Hills Veterinary Hospital can definitely claim that distinction, but it hasn't merely been catering to wet noses and furry paws since opening in 1985, but serving animal health needs with excellence and compassion. It's, it's been a, a commitment to excellence that we've felt uh, since we opened. We're members of what's called the American Animal Hospital Association, which is a, an association that only probably 10 to 15 percent of veterinary hospitals across the country uh, are members of. Dr. Jeffrey Mullen is one of two founding veterinarians of Seven Hills Veterinary Hospital. He, along with Dr. Michael Lay, created its reputation for excellence, and they've recently added a third partner to the hospital, Dr. Matthew DeMay. The three of them and their highly skilled staff set a standard for compassionate and professional veterinary care that's hard to match. Seven Hills has, by far, care that exceeds probably what is available here in, in various places in Colorado, but also the state, the region, I think the whole country. The secret to the success of Seven Hills begins with a basic respect and understanding of the special relationship between pets and their owners. A great number of, of pet owners really look at their pets as members of their families and that has changed the face of veterinary medicine because the, the level of expectation of the quality of care has risen dramatically and that has, has meant that veterinarians have to rise to that challenge. And in rising to the challenge of providing the best veterinary care possible, Seven Hills has a core philosophy for their staff to not just have the best technical skills, but to have the highest level of compassion while creating caring relationships with pets and their owners. But what we've always had as a, as a practice philosophy is try to blend a concern for the owners and the pets themselves with a, a, a compassion for that uh, relationship between the pet and the owner and a, and a concern for trying to get these pets back with their owners and get them main, to be able to maintain that relationship. The last ingredient of the success of Seven Hills is making sure they have the very latest in veterinary technology, ensuring the best possible outcomes for animals needing treatment. And then the final component of that is the, is the commitment to the technological excellence and being able to have the, the, the latest in the state-of-the-art technology to be able to then provide the, the level of care that clients demand. The success of Seven Hills Veterinary Hospital over the years led them to recently make a big upgrade in their facilities, moving from a storefront to a new, larger, freestanding building. But nothing in their veterinary training prepared them for a few hiccups they encountered in their attempts to build a new facility. Fortunately, strong support from the city made the effort go a bit smoother. It took us several years to do what we thought we could do in perhaps just a year and part of what made this possible for us was the positive interaction with the city council and the mayor. With the recent expansion, Seven Hills looks like it will be part of the Aurora community for years to come. And while keeping pets healthy is the ultimate goal, Dr. Mullen reminds us that success of Seven Hills begins with warm and caring relationships. But I, I think what we really try to do to, to set us apart is to create that that bond with the client when they walk in the door. And most of my client visits end up with a, a hug.